<laughs> what a way to start the vlog, just running in the room from the kitchen. Good morning, it's Saturday. Uh, this is the second occasional vlog since Florida. Not like the second occasional vlog of all time. Apparently, I got an email the other day from someone who like keeps sort of spam emailing us to try and get us to promote to sign up to the promotion. Our channel's got seven hundred videos on it now, apparently, which is excessive. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. A little milestone reached, I guess. Um, anyway, uh, I thought I'd start this week week's weekly vlog with a quick introduction to us outside of Florida, because we have picked up just a few new subs, uh, maybe 30 or so, I think, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, um, what it is, is the occasional vlog for us is our weekly vlog. I know it's weekly, it was supposed to be occasionally, but we started doing the weekly when all the lockdown kicked in, and that's just basically an update on what we've been up to and what we're doing for the weekend. So on some weekends, we'll have a quiet one where we'll stay at home, do a bit of house tidying, <laughs> pretending to anyway, uh, maybe some, like, decorating or some building of Lego craft beers you can see behind me though we are big fans of Lego um, and then on the weekends when we go out we'll either go to the zoo like we did last weekend or we'll go into town try and visit new restaurants bars and so on and so forth um, we never like tech promotion for any of the bars or restaurants we visit we just do it off our own back because we want like to promote local businesses um, and we always try to get to new places and that brings me on to this week's vlog we're going into town tomorrow to try some new places. Well, definitely one new place. So that should be fun. Uh, I wasn't actually going to vlog this weekend, but Gemma's like, yeah, yeah, you should do it. Uh, so we'll do that. Um, and yeah, otherwise, plans... I'm, I'm holding a beer in my hand. I'm not drinking... This is an alcohol-free beer that I had last night. I am... I'm not... not I've not gone cold turkey, but I am trying to cut back. Uh, but yeah, anyway. I'm just having a tidy up now. And the plans for today... And huge to be honest, I haven't got a lot planned. I am going to cook though. Um, I've already got it started and I'll show you it. Uh, it'll probably be going in the instant pot though tonight. Uh, and I've also got a bit of a little bit of a chesty cough, but I've had it for about a week. No other symptoms, just a tiny little chesty cough. Um, a couple of purchases. Well, there's two. There's one arriving later, which is the, the more extravagant one. But also, I uh, when I was in Florida, I picked up a Haunted Mansion long sleeve T-shirt for wearing around the house because I'm I don't like wearing heavy clothes too much, which is, makes winter a bit of a problem because I get cold. So I thought I'll try a long sleeve shirt and see how we get on. And I really liked it. And I was like to Gemma, oh, I should get more like that. And she said, well, go and check out EMP. They've got some stuff on at the minute on sale. So I went on there and I, there was loads of like plain ones and I can't. Plain shirts. Look, I'm wearing my Optimus Prime t-shirt today. I still dress like a 12 year old. Uh, so I got this one, which is a Black Sabbath Paranoid one, which has, for some reason I didn't realise, has the track listing on the back. And I think that was the more expensive one. I, was, I don't even know how much it was, to be honest. And then I got this one for my goth phase. You know, I'm 44 now. I probably deserve to have a goth phase at some point in my life. Um, but yeah, they're both long sleeve. And I think they came to just under 50 for the two of them. Um, a little bit more than I wanted to pay them, honest. I wanted to be like, try and get something in for about a 10, 12, 13 quid. But then I saw them ones. I thought, I can't go for the plain ones. Uh, there is another purchase turning up later. I'll show you that when it arrives. That one's more for Gemma. Although I'll probably end up, here's a clue, building it. <laughs> anyway, my arm's getting tired, so I'll catch up in a bit. That is unusual. Normally I can vlog for like five minutes and my arm doesn't get tired. But now I've managed four, so not a huge difference. Well, I was about to have a sit down after my uh, extra long four minute vlogging session, but uh, four legs ears pinch me seat. Reg? Reggie? Absolutely no recall. Doesn't care about his name at all. Just cares about the snuggles, don't you, mister? You big snuggle monkey. Look at that boy. Let's check your eye. So this eye was a bit swollen, not swollen, it was a bit, he was holding it shut the other day, and it looks white on top, but that's normally, he has little white eyebrows, you see that one? Yeah, it looks like he's holding it okay today, sorry matey, I've been keeping an eye on him just to make sure his eye's okay, because yesterday I walked in, he looked like Tom York. So our little agreement is that after I move him, because I have to move him to sit down, I, I can't sit on him, although I have tried, um, <laughs> no, I'm is um, he gets snuggles. 
So I put him in front of me like this, pick him up, put him in front of me, and he gets all snuggles. And although he looks like the grumpiest cat alive right now. Oh, there we go. He's liking that. He quite likes this. This is where he'll actually, so he'll be on the floor and he'll look at you. Then you have to pat the couch in front of you and he jumps up and then he just settles down here. And he's purr, he's not like a cat purr like Archie, Archie proper rattles. He just goes <laughs> really quick, you put the quick little shallow, shallow purr. Look at, that, look at that boy. What a handsome boy. Look at this cheeky bugger's just come running down the garden, looking at me through the window, waiting for some food. <laughs> he's He's been back a couple of times this week, it's been nice to see him about again. And he is looking a lot healthier than he was when he first turned up last year, so that is good. I think he just he just works the neighbourhood, just getting food off people who will give it to him. <laughs> Here he is. He never lets me get too close, although I have been quite close, and he has got very hissy of late, so I don't know if he's, he's had a run-in with someone. I'll put some food down for him. It's just cheap Tesco stuff we have, especially for any visiting strays. Let's see if he'll come over when we don't think going in. He might do. Generally, if I turn me back. No, he's not having it today. About once, the, the minute I'm in the house and the kitchen door's shut, he'll be overeating that. He's thinking about it. Here he comes. It's okay, matey. I'm doing the slow blink that cats signify as his um, friend. But when he first turned up, all his back hindquarters were all matted and short furred, and he's certainly looking a little bit better now. Somewhat uneventful day today. You'll have to excuse me because I'm just getting the um, instant pot set up and uh, I can't find the plug. <laughs> it's one of these, someone. Uh, yeah, I relaxed quite a lot. There we go, instant pot on. Uh, I did some pots, fed, uh, cleaned out some kitty cats, uh, and now I'm just going to put tea on before I go and pick Gemma up. Um, so what we're doing is pibble, pull, pibble pork, cockinita pibble pork. Now I've done this in the past and it's never come out right. Um, so we'll see what happens this time. It comes out good, but not right. So what I've done this time, <laughs> making lots of noise, is I have left my pork in this pot here overnight marinating in all the spices and I'm just going to put it in the instant pot now for about an hour possibly a little an hour yeah I think an hour should do I think I read an hour um, so what this is is um, it's something called atiote or anato which is a Mexican spice there it is got it off uh, Amazon Came off Amazon out of date though, so I was a bit gutted about that. But it is just spices, so spices just generally lose the potency over time, rather than sort of go off. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I've added I've, I've taken the achiote paste. I've added orange juice, lime, ga um, cumin. I'm trying to remember myself. Garlic, onion, cinnamon, a little bit of oregano. Uh, and I left it marinating overnight. So I blended all the sauce together because the garam masala comes in a block, not garam masala, uh, actually it comes in a block, so you have to blend it. So I did that and I left it basically overnight marinating. So I'm gonna transfer it now into the instant pot bowl and we'll get it on and see what it comes out like. So there it is, and I have to admit, it doesn't look the most appetizing in this state, but it does smell quite good already. Uh, I used to have this in a uh, uh, Mexican in town that I can't remember the name of. Uh, and it's the most delicious stew you can have, I think. It's like the best pork, sort of stewed pork that I have. And it, and it, it basically just falls apart and goes tender because it's been it's been either slow cooked or in this case, instant potted. But the achiote I think gives it a really nice taste. So I'm looking forward to trying it, see if I can produce anything like what I used to get in the past. Um, I've seen it in like other restaurants too. So when we went to Spain in January, I had some in uh, Central Beers, the beer place in Malaga, 
Uh, and we also saw it a few times in Florida, in Mexican restaurants, like most traditional Mexican restaurants tend to do it. Um, and rather than like Tex-Mex restaurants, I mean, and um, yeah, uh, it's, it's really good. So I'm gonna get it on and see what it comes out like. It's nearly done, it's nearly done, it's nearly done. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, that looks good. I feel like I've not done this for a while. <laughs> but, ready? Jammers home. You're right, sweetie. I know. Sorry, presentation's not great on the bowl, but it smells amazing. Presentation's not great on the bowl. That's just a story of my life, that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want your uh, guacamole to go with it? Yes, please. All right, enjoy, honey. No, it's delicious. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Good. I think, I think this is how I've wanted it to come out the last few times I've done it and I've never managed to perfect it, but I think this time I've got a decent... It certainly smells like what I've eaten. Yeah, it's a lot juicier than what we normally get in restaurants, but I think it's because they normally just strain it off the meat and uh, throw it on the uh, on the wraps of the tacos. And I just um, added a little bit of corn flour yeah, through, thickened it up a little bit. Did you enjoy that food? It was delicious. Yeah, I think that's the, definitely the best I've ever cooked. That it was almost restaurant like like you get it at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Really happy with that. Delicious. I'll do that one again, can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, parcel came. Now normally, I order Lego. I order it for myself. This time I order Lego for Gemma. You ready? Mm -hmm. I, I did. I did give the game away a little bit by telling you what's in here. But, so. Oh, did you? Mm, well, I just did then, didn't I? So we do have one large box here. We'll come to that in a minute. That's the purchase. All the rest of this is freebies. There was a double VIP points on, so I, I jumped on it because I had loads of VIP points to spend as well. And that was one of the sets that we got free, which is the Pirate... I can't remember what the name is. Something like that. But yeah, there's a little... little Spooky pirate, I like how it says model doesn't float. Next set is the three in one witch set. You can either build a witch, a witch's cat, or a dragon. I feel like you're building these while I build the big one, aren't you? And then finally, a VIP set, which will probably be changed to something at a different name soon because it's not called VIP anymore. But these are just like booster packs with loads of like themed bricks They've in them. The, um, the leaves mm -hmm. that are on that wreath. So I could make that wreath autumn. Yeah. By using that. Yep. So yeah, anyway. This one is a Halloween one. I think we've got Christmas ones and spring ones and a few others as well. We might even have another Halloween one actually. Yeah. And the next set, this is the actual set that I bought, not all the free stuff. Um, in a ready to ship box as well. And it is... Upside down. It's the Pocus Pocus, Orcus Pocus set. Yeah. I wouldn't know it little. Does it? I didn't either. It's got a battery thing on the back. Ah, there you go. This is a set you wanted, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I thought. Well, it's double points, and I haven't bought any big sets this year apart from the X Wing, um, <laughs> which I still haven't built. I thought I'd buy this for Gemma. You gonna build it? All on your own? Yeah, no help at all. I'm going to build it, down. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good though, the detail on this is fantastic. Which is what attracts me to building them out. I like the ones that, that I can proper lose myself building it. Happy with that? Mm -hmm. Lovely stuff. Look at them, what figures you got? Yeah, quite a few, don't you? You got yeah. six. Get the kids. Mm-hmm. People were saying they were disappointed that you don't get the Billy. Billy, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. We got Billy. No, you don't. We'll start building this at some point, I'm sure. This will probably end up being built before the X-Wing because I still don't have anywhere to put the X-Wing. Good morning. We're heading into town, aren't we? Yeah. Gemma's all nice dressed up. It's 11.59. And I've just realised I'm wearing a spoiler t-shirt for our haul. <laughs> And the whole trip. Guess where we went when we were on the trip. <laughs> anyway, what are we doing today in town? We're going for lunch at Cowshed. Cowshed? Cow's Head. 
uh, to Steakhouse in town. Uh, it gets very, very good reviews, so I've been looking forward to this one, to trying mm-hmm. it. Uh, this is going to be a few of us going. Um, Gemma's dad, Gemma's brother, Gemma's brother's partner coming along as well. Uh, so it's probably going to be a... Show you the food. Yeah, we'll show you the food. We won't show you too much of like the vlog. There won't be a huge amount of vlogging. Like to be in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll... Um, well, we go anywhere else. Well, yeah. We're meeting in the head to see him. I think we're just meeting my dad in the head to see him. Mm-hmm. Matt said they would meet us at the restaurant. Okay. Yeah. So you know my dad likes to be in the vlog. So. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll show you what we show you anyway. It's definitely it's his birthday meal, isn't it? It so. is, yeah. Anyway, we'll see you in town. We're in town. Some eclectic music mixes on today. It's a very, very uh, upbeat in town. We're going to head up to the head of steam, our usual spot. First beer of the day. Lunchtime beer. Jellyfish Nebula. We got here quite early. We've got like an hour and a half before our meeting at, uh, we were meeting at Cow Shed. Time for another one, maybe. Did end up just having the one in uh, the head of steam, but we're heading up towards the restaurant now. We might call somewhere else before, and we've got about half an hour. Heading past the uh, infamous electric, formerly known as the Crazy House. If you uh, if you ever spent any time in Liverpool and you're a fan of alternative music, you may well know the Crazy House. Unfortunately, no longer open. Or fortunately, depending on your out- outlook. We'll call in the Red Lion for one. Round two, and I went for the Oregon Pale. Gemma's got a dead craft here. And uh, Jerry's got the Estrella. Hello. Uh, not been on the vlogs for a while, have you? No, I haven't. You <laughs> Welcome back. You had holidays with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that changes in January. In January. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Enjoy, honey. Well. It's good in here as well, the pump pump pot. So this is the place we're eating at today. It's Cow Shed. Looks good. Uh, we're now in the Cow Shed. This is the menu. I'm going to quit look over here. I think we're going to do the greedy cow for three. The Dragili Cow is the three steaks and then three sides and three sauces. So we'll share that between three of us. So we did order the uh, the, the Greedy Cow for three. And here's the three steaks. There's three out outs. It's um, a rump, a ribeye and a uh, flat iron. And we've got fries, mushrooms over there, sauces too. Looks lovely. And to get some pudding as well. I have taken a chunk out of it. And Gemma got that one. So that's the um, eating mess cheesecake. And yours was the chocolate bread and butter pu- bu- bread and butter pudding. Called into uh, brew dog. Brew dog, do 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 dog. And um, they're playing Hanson, of course. Uh, we picked up the. Vault City Grapes order to give this one a try as well. Uh, Gemma has a gluten free punk. We've got Gemma's dad, the Lost Lager. And this is a Friendship Adventure Headliner. That's a NAIPA. Let's give this grapes order a try. It smells very fruity. That's not bad. It's. I was hoping for more, I will say that. About a 3.75. Not every grape you eat from a bush is sweet. Yeah, the grape is subtle in there, isn't it? I like it. A bit more overpowering. You're going to give it a try? Do a pull the face now? <laughs> you might like it, you never know. Jerry doesn't drink craft beers, so... I'll taste it, for God's sake. It's a bit sour for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's sour. Yeah, it is a sour, so... It's from the southern slopes of the vineyard, though. <laughs> so we're uh, on the move again. Heading to our favourite end the night at uh, Dead Crafty with a nightcap. It was a uh, lovely to say hello to Scott and Natasha tonight who came yeah. and said hello to us in nice Brewdog. Totally caught us off guard yeah. catching us in Brewdog as well. It's lovely. Liverpool. Yeah. And Joe Seven Brothers. Oh, yeah. So, all right, we're, we're, yeah, we're going to head down to Brewdog. To, I've lost count of where we are and where we're going. We're going to Dead Crafty. Uh, we'll probably grab a couple of beers there and head back home. There it is, calling us from afar. I'd like to say this is the first time we've been back since Florida, but no, it's the second time. <laughs> Most decorated for Halloween. Mm-hmm. Big fans of Halloween, are dead crafty. Yes. They do it. They do it a Halloween special night as well. If you want to book it? Yeah. 
couple of beers in Dead Crafty. Um, I have forgotten what I ordered, but that is an Azvex Volcanic Lightning. And I ordered... Um, signature Brew Good Vibrations, which is a New England Pale Ale. Very nice. So we're always here uh, enjoying a strong one to end the night. This one is Mortalis Kronos. It's a 10% Imperial Stout from New York. It's a feisty boy. Really sweet though, really strong. That's a solid 4.25 4. maybe. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah, we haven't really vlogged a huge amount since uh, the weekend, to be honest with you. Uh, enjoyed that night out on Sunday, the afternoon out, sorry. Definitely will go back to Koshi again. Really enjoyed that restaurant. Um, and uh, I don't know what, what what the video was at the end, like at the end of Sunday night, so I'm going to redo it now just in case it was terrible. Um, but we went over to Dead Crafty, as you saw, had a few beers. Um, the... The couple that we chatted to in Brewdog, Scott and Natasha, actually turned up back at the uh, Dead Crafty because the, they got back to the hotel quite early and decided to go out for another beer. So we ended up inviting them over to sit with us and uh, had a good old chat, a good old catch up on stuff. So that was good fun. I really, really enjoyed bumping into people and uh, being, having a good chance to get a chat, you know. That was really nice. Uh, since then, really not much has happened, to be honest. We got a smart meter installed for the electricity, which is currently taken away down there. 20p an hour apparently we're spending, so why our electricity bill comes out at 170 quid a month, I don't know. Um, <laughs> not better. Um, yeah, and um, oh, we took up the rug as well, look. Finally got rid of the rug. We will probably get another rug, because um, it does feel a little, little cold in here without it. But maybe just a smaller one, not like huge monstrous rug that we had. The problem with that rug was the kittens had torn along the sides of it. So there's bits of purple fluff just turning up in the lounge. Plus, to be honest with you, they're that messy that there's always stuff on the floor and on that rug. So, like, you'll see the rug will be in the vlogs, and I'm sure people are like, you never hoover? And it's like, yes, we do hoover. Like, last week, I filmed the floor, and it was covered in stuff. And that was literally 24 hours after I'd hoovered. <laughs> so we got rid of it. <laughs> It's alright, that's how we got rid of it, it's under the stairs, but it'll go in the bin eventually when I can get it cut up and thrown. Um, never, we never buy expensive rugs for the lounge for that reason, to be honest with us, having the cats. Although Gemma was trying to price up a £200 style Wars rug. <laughs> but anyway, I need to get this vlog edited, because I want it to go live tomorrow. So Wednesdays is our occasional vlog there now, and then Friday is our um, Florida vlog. I do have problems with the Florida vlogs. I'm a bit disappointed. It's three or four days using the ZV-1. I had it on product showcase mode and didn't realise. Now product showcase mode kills the image stability. So if you are watching the vlogs as they go along and you see it starts to get a little bit wibbly, it's where I've had to use post-processing image stability corrections to try and stop it from being shaky footage. Um, so we've got some discussions we need to have about what we're going to do with our cameras going forward because to have an entire, well, an entire potentially up to a week's worth of footage from the vlog ruined by one camera set. But, I mean, if I'll show you on the back of the camera. This is our ZV-1. This is what we used for the Florida trips. One of those buttons at the bottom, bottom there, down here, turns product showcase mode on. It's not an option you have to go in the menu. It's a button down here. Now, when I turn product showcase on, then all the footage goes shaky. So I can do it by accident because there's one button on the back of the camera. So I need to look into that and see if that's something I can just turn off permanently. But to be honest with you, I'm thinking, and I've picked the first time to do this, but sorry, I'm covering up the camera on this one now. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, just moving off to the phone permanently. They're just using doing everything, future trips on the phone. Now, we don't have a big two-week trip, week trip planned next year so far. And I can usually get away with filming most of a vlog on this phone. Because the issue I have is storage space. So, like, for example, Florida was 290 gigabytes of video on the big, on the big camera, the GoPro, and this combined. Uh, this phone's not 290 gig, gigabytes of storage. So I'm thinking that when I do upgrade phones, which will probably be next year, 
I'll try to look for like a bigger phone, you know, like get a 512 gigabyte one or something, and then at that point maybe just move off using vlogging cameras and just use the phone for everything. Because to be honest, people have commented on the footage from this phone and said, the image stability is really good. And no one's ever said that about the ZV-1 stuff. It's a, it's, it's, in fact, people have said the opposite, like it's shaky. So I'm thinking they're just cutting the losses of vlogging cameras and just going for phone. And to be honest with you, it's more convenient. The battery lasts longer in the phone. We've had these discussions before, haven't we? And But um, it's also like a little bit less like... I don't feel as self-conscious when I'm vlogging on the phone because it looks like I'm just doing a video call. But anyway, that's some stuff for me to think about. And I'll probably be doing that over the next few weeks because there's no rush to make a decision right now. And um, we'll catch up with you in next week's weekly vlog when we're going to the... All being well to the uh, Liverpool Comic Con. Uh, Gemma's booked to meet and greet someone as well, so that should be interesting. Uh, we'll not be doing cosplay this time, but we'll, uh, I'm sure we'll have good fun. And we'll uh, we'll see you there. So thanks for watching. Um, if you're new to the channel, thanks for watching as well, because I know we've had a few new subscribers. I don't know if you've translate, transferred over to uh, watching the occasional vlogs, but if you have, let us know in the comments. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.